Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. And today I'm starting a series of small capsules, which I'm calling the Pico Patches. Basically, I'm having so much fun with my Pico System 3 from Erica Synths that I decided to do not one but many videos showing some cool patching ideas, which could also be helpful for just any system in general, but I will limit myself to the Pico System 3. So let's get started. This is a patch that I'm calling Intergalactic Warfare. I took some notes before. In fact, if I love the patch enough, I can make a DIY preset card for it. I've done already Angry Robot and Sci-Fi Horror. This would be Intergalactic Warfare. I don't want to use any trademarks or anything like that. Oh, and this is the little stand I made for the cables. A heat sink from an amplifier that broke and I rounded off the edges a little bit so they don't hurt. And I glued on a nut down here so that I can attach it to any kind of camera tripod. Really handy to have the cables organized this way. Okay, so I'm going to take a triangle wave from the second oscillator into the input of my bucket brigade delay. And we'll take the output of the bucket brigade delay into the input of the master output over here. Let's turn that down for now. Now I'll take the pulse output from the modulation module into the clock in of the sequencer over here. I'll take the triangle wave from the first VCO and I'll plug it into the linear FM input of the VCO control module right here. That linear FM is being routed to VCO2, but it's also being controlled by a VCA. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the output of my first envelope generator right here. Actually, I'm gonna be using the output of this envelope generator for a lot of things. So I'm gonna use this nice little loving robot IntelliGel splitter here. You can use any splitter. The Pico system comes with the Hosa splitter cable, but that's just one split, so I need a few more than that. So let's go ahead and take three small cables from here, plug them in here because I'm not sending this envelope generator voltage to three separate inputs. So one of them is the one volt per octave of my VCO2, which is the one we're actually listening to. The other one is going to the VCA right here, VCA CV. And this is controlling the amount of linear FM that's going from VCO1 to VCO2. And I'm only using the triangle waves here. I'm not using the pulse or the shape wave. Now, the other one is going to the time CV of my bucket brigade delay. So let's listen to it. Oh, there was one thing missing that I forgot, which is the random pulse going to trigger our envelope generator. So now it's automatic generative patch that doesn't require my input. And since I'm using the random pulse, it makes it kind of, well, random. There are things I can do with the patch. For example, I can change the speed of the of the mod right here and make the decay quicker. So now we have this more active phaser battle here. I can also turn it way down and turn the attack of the alternator up here. Make it move. Change the tuning on the oscillator. Increase the feedback on the bucket brigade. Filter it a little bit. Okay, 
to make the envelope generator rise rather than fall. I can create sort of a space wind if I take the noise, send it to a low pass gate here. And take that low pass gate, send it to another input on my mixer. You can manually uh, operate it like that. Or I can control it with my second envelope generator. We can use a mixer as an attenuator here. Maybe a little more resonance. A little more polar wind. Why not send the random voltage temp and hold here to that envelope generator at decay time? No, oh, we had forgot to send the CV out to the oscillator so that the sequencer wasn't really doing anything. Ah, there it is. Now there's the patch in its glory.
there you have it intergalactic warfare hope you dug it stay tuned for the next little pico patch capsule see you soon and stay noisy